Hello, everybody. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Join me today from our Public Works Department. We've got Ben. He's back on the show. It's been a while, Ben. How you been? Good, good. It has been a little bit. It's been too long. That's okay. Well, I think last time uh, we got to work together, we were pushing some leaves around, and me, we being you, were pushing leaves around, but uh, it was uh, for the good of uh, the cause there. And now we're going to be talking about waterway cleanups, the annual waterway cleanup day scheduled for Saturday, April 15th. What do residents have the opportunity to help us out with? Sure. Well, uh, the waterway cleanup is an event that the city of Fitchburg has been doing for uh, many years. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just supposed to be a good time. It's uh, hopefully we won't have all this snow anymore and that'll be long melted, but um, you know, it's, it's a time where you can get outside, bring your, your family and friends and um, just pick up trash. I mean, it's, it's really about kind of cleaning up the, the community um, and then preventing, you know, all the soda cans and, what have you from from getting into the to the uh, lakes and streams and you know we just want it to be a kind of a fun event where um you know you can maybe maybe meet your neighbors a little bit more and um you know just spend a, a nice day cleaning up the community um and there's four locations so uh, we try to have it spread out um I, i'll just go through them so first there's the duns marsh area um the meeting spot for that is kind of at the intersection of Crescent Road and um, Apache. So nine o'clock, um, you know, you can meet up there. Um, we will have uh, bags and gloves, um, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, if you've got some gloves, please bring them. But if not, we we've got uh, we've got some extras so we can we can get everyone covered. Um, other locations, we've got Quarry Hill. Uh, the meeting spot for that will be right at Quarry Hill Park. There's the shelter there. Um, then there's the Yarmouth Greenway. Um, so the meeting spot for that is it's just kind of off of Yarmouth uh, Greenway, north of McKee. Um, you'll see people there. We'll, we'll have all these locations um, you know, highlighted so, so you can't miss them. Uh, and then the last spot is Swan Creek. Um, so the meeting spot for that is um, the shelter at Nannyberry Park. Uh, so those are those are going to be the four spots. Um, you know, depending on how many volunteers we get, uh, maybe we can we can branch out and, and clean up a little extra. Um, but that's that's the plan. Ben, what are the waterways moving <clears throat> when they're not moving trash and stuff? Uh, what are they moving uh, throughout, uh, and when are they? being used yeah so i mean hopefully the waterways are are really just conveying clean water right so that's um you know their their main purpose is um, when we get these storms um or snow melt like what we're seeing today um that's just kind of a a, a conduit or a path for for uh for the water to travel um so there's a lot of different reasons why we want to kind of target these areas and, and pick up um, trash from these areas. Um, one, um, these, these can be uh, habitats for a lot of different kinds of animals. Um, we've all, you know, seen and heard of the example of the, um, the classic, uh, you know, you get your six pack of, of soda or whatever, and it's got the, the little plastic rings um, getting caught up in, in uh, you know, uh, frogs or whatever turtles so just kind of generally picking up uh, trash for for those reasons um, also you know the, all that trash can kind of uh, potentially clog things um, in the city infrastructure um, which which of course we want to avoid um, but you know really at the heart of it, it it's it's all about you know keeping it clean for um, you know the animals and and uh, you know the other uh, and, and for ourselves, you know, because when when we're walking along these trails, no one wants to see, you know, all this trash just kind of along the waterways. Um, you know, it's an it's an asset to the community, and we we want to keep them looking nice. So that's that's really what it's all about. 
same same kind of question, but the waterways um, are really a, a catch from our stormwater. Is that a good way of uh, saying it? And and for folks maybe not familiar with stormwater, which probably is bringing in a lot of this material into it, uh, where is the stormwater itself come from that gets to the waterways that ends up in the streams, rivers, uh, and uh, lakes? Well, that's that's a very good point, Jeremy, that you, that you brought up there. Um, you know. If, so all these waterways are really kind of, uh, you know, the eventual landing point, if you will, for the runoff from our, our parking lots or roofs. Um, you know, it might go through a series of city storm sewer, um, you know, down the road or whatever. Um, but at some point, it's probably getting dumped out into into a waterway, whether that's, um, you know, a branch of, of Swan Creek, Murphy Creek, Nine Springs Creek. There's there's a. Uh, you know, multiple through the city. Um, but since, the, again, all the water is ending up there. So if you've got trash and stuff too, maybe it's not it's not in the waterway now, but, you know, the water will carry pretty much everything um, to the waterway. So um, it, it really does kind of aggregate the, the, the trash and stuff. So things, things can certainly accumulate there as it's receiving runoff from from you know potentially a, a very large area ben what's the uh, uh now <clears throat> you're new to this so i don't know if you know the answer to this question but what have people told you that they've found uh, in these waterways or maybe from your history uh, in public works maybe you've heard of some things but uh, i will uh, save the example that i'm aware of uh, of some pretty large items that can move through these things yeah, um, in fact, there's a pretty wild picture um, from a few years ago that someone took of, of a, a tube TV, like a 36-inch tube TV, um, you know, so all sorts of stuff like that. I mean, tires, uh, toaster ovens. Um, <laughs> yeah, it can be, a, it turns into this dumping ground, you know, in some respects, but ultimately it's not, it's not what you think. It's not just cans and and you know random garbage it's a little bit of everything and like you said cleaning up uh, not only helping the waterways but really helping uh, the aquatic life there uh, the scenery that sort of thing you're doing a lot of things to prevent all of this stuff from going uh, down down river so to speak uh, ultimately uh, safety is a factor in doing this there are some cleanup guidelines online uh, you do want everybody to stay safe that does help out with this uh, and uh, how can they learn more about uh, getting signed up and uh, staying safe for this event yeah so thanks for bringing that up safety is paramount of course so um, you know if, if you don't have your own gloves we will have some um, for for people to use um, you can go online there's a uh, a web page on the city web uh, on the city website. It's uh, just uh, under volunteer opportunities, um, and you can take a look at some of the guidelines. Um, you know, depending on where you're picking up the trash, there could be some uh, unruly terrain. So maybe you want some some gloves or or a walking stick or something. Um, but you know, it's it's totally up to you where where people choose to to clean up. So if there's, you know, somewhere where you don't, you, you maybe don't want to get into the, into the waterway and you'd rather just kind of walk along the banks, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of stuff to pick up there too. All right, Ben, appreciate the information. Uh, again, uh, Ben, uh, it's going to be a fun day, a helpful day, and um, hopefully a lot of people can come out and help us get this all cleaned up. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Thanks for having me on, Jeremy. Thank you, Ben, for your time as always, and we'll see you out there on the cleanup day. Yeah, will do. Take care.